The war in Israel impacting global travel. Major U.S. based airlines, United, Delta, American, suspending flights uh, to Tel Aviv, and a lot of airlines in Europe are expected to follow suit. We're going to be watching for more changes. Yeah, News Nation travel editor Peter Greenberg joins us now in studio. Um, it's good to see you in person, but unfortunately, under these circumstances, uh, your response, I know you've spent ample time in Israel. You, you toured it for seven days with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, your, your response and, and what you saw during that time. Well, the, state, the nation is always going to be in conflict mm -hmm. based on the, on the situation at hand, the geography of it all. The real problem, though, is Israel is already being torn apart internally over the last year because of their own strife with their judicial system and proposals by the Netanyahu administration to change that. 100,000 people in the street every day protesting. You have that issue. And then you have the issue of Iran because the Saudi Arabia approach with the United States to broker a deal with, with, with Israel to finally recognize that country, the one thing that, that the Israelis will tell you, even though they've had no diplomatic relations with Saudi Arabia forever, right, they talk to them all the time because they share one thing in common. They both hate Iran. Mm. So this particular brokered peace, or at least a recognition, would more isolate Iran, giving them all the reason in the world to continue to arm Hamas, to continue to, to, to support what was going on, which just erupted two days ago. You've been obviously in touch with the uh, people that you know there in yes. Israel. You have close contacts with the government, uh, especially considering all of your extensive travel in the Middle East. Right. It's not a blame game time. I mean, we're in a time of, of war, active war. But what are you hearing from people who want to know how this caught Israel off guard? What happened with the Iron Dome being overwhelmed? And, and what should be done moving forward? Well, Israel was probably caught off guard because they were so distracted because of their internal problems, number one. The Iron Dome situation, it was never designed to handle 4,000 missiles. How did those missiles get there? They didn't just get there by sea with Iran helping with that. They came in through tunnels with Egypt as well. So you've got a two-front war here right now in terms of that. The real key, though, is how does the United States rearm Israel now and be, make sure that this doesn't happen again? Uh, this happened in 1973. If Richard Nixon hadn't armed Israel, they would have lost the Yom Kippur War. Now they've got to do it again, but they're going to do it with conditions now. And the conditions are probably going to be a realignment of the entire coalition that Netanyahu formed with the right-wing extremists. Some of those cabinet members are going to have to go. Are you thinking that people are going to see all of these airlines completely cease operations heading to Tel Aviv and Jerusalem? While the airport is now officially still open, nobody's going. Uh, every U.S. airline's canceled their suspended service. European airlines, as you mentioned, doing the same. U.S. Uh, cruise lines that had port calls in Haifa, they're gone. They've, recon they've really reconfigured their itineraries. Tour operators, remember, Israel gets about 30 percent of their GDP from American travel and tourism. That's a huge economic impact. Forget the toll of the war right now, which is substantial. How long can they do that economically when everybody's canceling? And that's another issue. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend this morning text, my parents were supposed to go tomorrow. You know, that, that trip, I imagine, is not going to happen. Well, it's not just the trip to Israel. It's the trip to Jordan. It's the yes, trip to Egypt. Surrounding nations. It's the trip yeah. to all of those areas. Even trips to the UAE are now being canceled by a lot of Americans who are worried about their safety. It's going to be a, a multi-layered impact. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Peter, for being with us. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.